The following interview was conducted with Daniel Vogland for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on August 4th, 2017 at the Indiana State Fair. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. So could you tell us briefly where you are from and what years you attended Purdue? I, uh, I'm from Kentland, Indiana, which is 45 miles north and west of Lafayette. And uh, I attended Purdue from 1977 to 2081, I believe. No, not 2081. <laughs> <laughs> in 1981. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and what did you study? I studied agronomy. Agronomy, okay, and what did you do professionally after you graduated? Well, I started off working in the chemical industry with BASF. I worked there for 18 years, and then I uh, was downsized and went to work in the seed industry for Don Funk. Sold Crows, Midwest Seed Genetics Channel hybrids. And then I did that for six years and was had the opportunity to get back in the chemical business in 2005, and I've been with Bear Crop Science for the last 12 years. Okay, fantastic. Do you remember the first time you visited Purdue? Oh yeah, it was kind of scary. I went down there on a tour mm -hmm. for freshmen. I, I laid out a year before I went to college, and I showed up on campus in... I really didn't think I belonged there. Just too many people, everything was too far apart. Um, it was kind of scary. Mm -hmm. I was there by myself too, so mm -hmm. I guess nobody thought they needed to hold my hand. Yeah, but you went anyway. Oh yeah. Did you enjoy the experience? Well, that first day of class, classes, I found I was like three weeks behind. I should have bought my books and read the chapters, and I uh, I hadn't. But I had a guy living in the dorm next to me that he hadn't either, mm -hmm. and he quit. And everybody uh, made so much fun of him, I thought, well, they're not going to make fun of me. So I stuck it out, and it got better. That's great. Uh, what dorm did you live in? I lived in Cary Quad. Okay. The first year, and then I ran out of money, and I joined what they at the time called a co-op program. I was in agronomy. Mm -hmm. And then I lived off campus the rest of my stay at Purdue. Okay. Did you have a job while you were a student? Oh, yeah. I, I, see, I, I worked uh, another two, laid out two fall semesters, and I worked for Ag Alumni Seed Improvement in Romney, Indiana, mm -hmm. and then the Asgro Seed Company in Oxford, Indiana. Okay. So you were able to do job training yeah. as a student. Yeah. Were there any places on campus that you like to go to study? I did all my studying on campus. Uh, I lived with a lady that was 74 years old when I moved in. And she really, she only charged me $75 a month, and that included two meals a day. Wow. And all she wanted was company. So I made sure I got all my studying done on campus. Then when I came home, I watched ball games and TV with her. So... I, uh, I always studied at the sweet shop. I didn't have a pass to park, so I'd go over to school at 6 o'clock in the morning where you can get a good parking spot, didn't have to pay, and I'd go to the sweet shop and study. Mm -hmm. and then I did all my studying, let the traffic leave, and then I'd go home. Okay. And she just lived in Dayton, mm -hmm. you know, so it wasn't too far drive. Yeah, just a small commute while you were mm -hmm. a student. Do you have any specific memories of your time on campus that come to mind when you think back? Well, I was very fortunate that I was in agronomy. And I suppose other schools are like that, but my counselors, Dr. By Blair and Chuck Reichert, um, were extremely good to me. I mean, it was more like a family. They even helped me find jobs, either in the agronomy department or off campus. Mm -hmm. uh, Chuck Reichert now, he's 90 years old, and I still keep in touch with him every month. You That's know. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that was probably the best part. And anybody that has trouble, I said, man, go into agronomy because the people are still like that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Have you been back to campus recently? Um, I go for career fairs every once in a while, but I really haven't had a, a call to go to campus. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's changed a lot. Right. What's changed? Oh, the buildings. I mean... 
I used to have a class in life science and I had to get to the engineering building even on a bicycle I couldn't make it on time between classes mm -hmm. and so it's it's big and anyway what do you think has stayed the same over the years oh probably Purdue's conservative nature you don't read about them in the news mm -hmm. um, the agronomy department is still real good. They still place 90 plus percent of their students. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you don't realize how other people look at Purdue until you get away. Mm -hmm. I took a vacation out to Colorado when I was a Purdue student. And we're doing laundry, and there were a bunch of other kids there. And they found out that I was from Purdue. They said, you go to Purdue? And it's, they got a different perception than what we who live in Indiana do. Mm -hmm. They see the red bricks and the Ivy Leaf. I mean, they think that it's a Ivy Leaf school. They think it's a private school, not a state mm -hmm. institution. Because, you know, John Purdue. So. Is there anything about Purdue that you wish got more attention? Um, I wish the football team would get more attention. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go to I used to go to every basketball game mm -hmm. back in the days of Lee Rose, and you know I didn't miss a game. Mm -hmm. But anyway, now it's too expensive. It's uh, it's totally different than it used to be. Yeah. Do you have any specific basketball moments that stand out? Were you there for any? Oh yeah, Purdue beat Michigan State. In the last game of the season, and uh, all the players and Lee Rose run off the stadium, uh, off the court, and then they came back. Mm -hmm. It was a madhouse. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, do you have any other thoughts or comments you'd like to share about mm. Purdue? You're making me cry. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Don't tell Mary. No. Um, no, it's just I'm proud I graduated and. Uh, I was very fortunate that the people in the agronomy department, because I was just a poor farm kid, you know, uh, I'm lucky I made it through school. Mm -hmm. The other thing is I was like a B minus student in high school, and that first semester was the roughest. I got all C's, but uh, I dug myself out of a hole. Organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, plant physiology, biology, all ended up being my best subjects. And I finished with a 529 out of a 6 scale. So that wasn't bad. My dad didn't know who I was when I showed up on the dean's list. <laughs> Something to be proud of. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you don't have a tissue, do you? I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for talking with me today. Oh.